So Elon Musk tweeted, going for a walk with Optimus. Now, Optimus is, of course, Tesla's humanoid robot. The video shows it moving slowly around a room while a small group of people observe its movements. The video quickly gained traction, amassing tens of millions of views very rapidly. So Optimus is part of Tesla's AI and robotic division, and it uses an AI-first approach, with the goal of the robot, as stated by Musk, to perform tasks that are repetitive or boring. The company recently revealed its latest robot, Optimus Gen 2. Now, in the previous video of Optimus folding shirts, Elon Musk has clarified that the robot is not doing this autonomously yet, but he did say that that is the eventual goal. In this video, a couple of people pointed out that there may be a person in the background with what appears to be a remote control for the robot. However, as some channels that follow the development of this robot closely have pointed out, whatever that is, he is carrying some object it doesn't look like a remote because usually those have those little rabbit ears that are sticking up or something like that to like project a, a radio control. So if it is walking motion, it is also possible. He's just got like kind of a safety mechanism. that's just like stop, start, like a- Could you know, be, could be the like e-stop button, who knows? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because this is certainly, he's not doing enough because I was watching him. He's not sitting there like moving joysticks back and forth. And good God, if he was, I'd, he'd be the most talented person in the world if he was controlling the entire robot with two thumbs. So, you know, he may be the guy that's like, go stop or something like that. So he's controlling it. I did notice that the Optimus does not have a, um, he doesn't seem to have a stop button on this back anymore. Very exciting and very impressive progress by Tesla, Elon Musk, and everybody else involved with the project. But that's not the only robot that's making headlines today. Figure AI is also in talks with Microsoft and OpenAI for funding. They're hoping to secure a $500 million funding round. Microsoft is expected to invest approximately $95 million, with OpenAI contributing around $5 million. This would put the figure AI valuation at nearly $2 billion. The deal currently is still up in the air, so it may unravel, it may fall through, but figure AI has been making other headlines as well, including its partnership with BMW. So Figure, the AI robotics company, has signed a commercial agreement with BMW Manufacturing to deploy its autonomous humanoid robots in automotive manufacturing environments. This partnership aims to automate the difficult, unsafe, and tedious tasks of the manufacturing process. In the first stage of the deal, Figure will identify the use cases where the robots can be applied in the automotive production. Once complete, this will begin the deployment of the robots at the BMW's manufacturing facility in Spartanburg, South Carolina. In other news, Dr. Lingxi Jim Fan, who's a senior research scientist at NVIDIA and the lead of AI Agents Initiative, recently put out a video that builds further on his pretty impressive robotic research. He talks about the development of the Foundation Agent, a model that can learn to act in different worlds or different realities, as he puts it. The agent has the ability to master 10,000 diverse simulated realities and potentially generalize to our physical world. Now, this is still theory. This thing is not here quite yet, but the breakthroughs in using AI to train robots in simulation, for example, with NVIDIA's Isaac Jim and their sister project, Isaac Sim, it does seem like we're on the cusp of incredible innovation in the robotic space. I'll link that video next. If you haven't seen it, I strongly encourage you to take a look. This is arguably the biggest thing in robotics that I've seen in the last year. Check it out. My name is Wes Roth and thank you for watching.